Hi, my name is Stephanie Ebsen. I go to Saving Grace Church, and this is my story. Fourteen years ago in October, my life was changed forever. Uh, my husband and I were expecting our first child, a baby boy, and we were super excited. We were planning everything. We had the room all ready to go. Uh, we were we were waiting our first baby shower, and we were super super ready for that baby. And at 27 weeks, he decided it was time to come. They called the medical team from St. Paul Children's. Uh, the pastor I had at the time, somehow he found out and he was there by my side and my family was there, my husband was there. When he was born, I'll never forget, he was crying. He, It sounded like a little mouse actually and um, it was the best sound I ever heard. And, and they brought him over to me and they gave me a couple minutes with him and I got to put my hands on him and I got to see him and touch him and just be mom for a couple of minutes. So we spent uh, about 10 days there with him. Um, he was fighting, he was doing so well, and they called him Rocky. He was, every time they would try to touch him, he'd swing at him, so they called him Rocky, which was neat. And I remember on the 11th day, we got a phone call from the hospital, and they said that he was um, showing signs of infection. He, they thought he was getting ill. The next day, he started to have seizures, and um, it was tough to see, it was tough to watch. Um, I remember a lot of prayer and a lot of hope, and they sat us down and um, told us that there was no brain activity left, and um, it was heartbreaking. Um, they took the tubes out and I held him and I sang to him and um, he went back home and it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life um, but it was also um, it was nice because we knew where he was going and he was going to be okay and we were going to be okay and um, one of the biggest things I remember is um, actually a verse it's Mark 10 and it said, it was where Jesus had said, let the children come to me um, for the kingdom is theirs. And I can remember picturing him reaching down and picking my child up and just taking him home. And that was how I got through it. Honestly, I just pictured that over and over and over in my head. So when we were about three days after Colin's passing, we had a funeral for him. I made sure that he had adorable little funeral announcements that I made myself. It was my way of being a part of his goodbye. And it was my final gift to him and I thought that was really important. And for anybody who has to go through something like this, I would recommend that you do that. It's it's the final thing that you can give them um, and it's it's important. And I remember going out to the cemetery and that was really tough. Um, nobody wants to see your child uh, buried. And it was winter. And I remember my my biggest thing was I, I was worried he was cold. <laughs> and I remember later thinking that was silly. But at the time, I didn't want him to be cold. And my father-in-law, he went out and he made sure that he was was covered up and he was okay. I'll never forget that. Losing a child is something that no one can understand that hasn't been through it because you just can't. It's it's a part of you and, and for the mother it's a part of their heart. It's like it's gone and it's difficult, you know, and my my hope is that because of what we've went through that we can help other people that are going through it. We've always made sure that our children knew their brother um, when Parker was two, I remember he would know these big words, and it was they were silly words, but like, we couldn't figure out why. And we would always ask him where he learned them, and he'd say the birds. And we thought he was nuts, <laughs> to be quite honest. And 
One day, my husband asked him what the bird's name was, and he said the bird's name was Colin. And we cried, and because we'd never said his name before. We'd never told him about his brother. Uh, at Christmas, he has his own stocking, and we put a flower in every year. The, one of the kids get to choose the flower. 